All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the 9s as 3 squared. So now I have 3 squared to the power of x plus 3 squared to the power of x plus 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply just 2x. So I have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 9. Now from here, if I factor out 3 to the power of 2x from my left-hand side, I get 3 to the power of 2x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 9. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's simply going to equal to 3. So now I have 3 to the power of 2x times 3 is equal to 9. Now notice how both of these bases are 3. So what I want to do is I also want to convert 9 into something in the base of 3. Well, 3 to the power of 2, that's equal to 9. So if I replace 9 with 3 to the power of 2, I get 3 to the power of 2x times 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 2x times 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So if I multiply these two, I get 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. So I have 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. I'm going to first subtract 1 on both sides. So I have 2x is equal to 1. Now I can divide both sides by 2. And I have x is equal to 1 half. So this is my answer. So now to check, I have 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 9. So x is 1 half, so I have 9 to the power of 1 half plus 9 to the power of 1 half plus 9 to the power of 1 half is equal to 9. 9 to the power of 1 half is simply 3, so I have 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 3 is 9, so I have 9 is equal to 9. Because this is right, my solution is right. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So I have 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So 20 here, I can rewrite as 10 times 2. So now I have 10 to the power of 20 over 10 times 2 to the power of 20. And if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So in this case, this is going to equal 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 20 minus 10, which is simply just 10 to the power of 10. So now if I multiply these again, I have 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 over 2 to the power of 10. 10 over 2 is 5, 
So 5 over 10 is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So for method 2, let's first start with 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. Now 10 to the power of 20, this time I'm going to rewrite my exponent 20 here as 2 times 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 2 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 10 to the power of 2 times 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 10. And I have this over 20 to the power of 10. Now 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So now I have 100 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 100 divided by 20, that's going to equal 5. So I'm left with 5 to the power of 10. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 9 is equal to 0. So I want to find the value of x here. So I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. Now I have this minus 9, I can rewrite as 3 to the power of 2. So this is going to equal 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 3. So now I have x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 3. And this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. And I have x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So, I can first start with x squared plus 3 equals 0. So if x squared plus 3 equals 0, first subtract 3 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with x squared is equal to negative 3. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now the square root of x squared is simply x. And... So I have x is equal to positive and negative squared negative 3. And the square root of negative 3, I can rewrite as the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the imaginary number i. So now I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3i. So these are two solutions. Now for x squared minus 3 equals 0, I can add 3 on both sides. So I'll have x squared is equal to 3. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 3. The square root of x squared, that's going to equal x. So I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3. So these are two more solutions. So all my solutions, all four of the solutions, are x equals square root of 3. x is equal to negative square root of 3 x is equal to square root of 3i, and finally, x is equal to negative square root of 3i. So these are my four solutions.